I just made an account on this website called Scratch so I can see if there's any Bloom's Tower Defense games. I guess we'll try out by looking at BTD6 first, which obviously you can see it's already in my search bar. So yes, I've already searched for it to see if there even was Bloom's Tower Defense 6, and yes, there are quite a lot of games. Look at this. BTD6 Remix, this actually looks kind of cool, except for the fact that it says Bloom's Tower Defense 5 in the thumbnail, so that's got me kind of suspicious. Then you got BTD6 Upgraded. Look at that. It's an actual thumbnail with Monkey Lane and all like the towers on the side. That's kind of cool. Like, I don't know, I guess we'll try out a few of these here and see, like, whoops, I didn't mean to click on this one. I don't think this one's very good. It literally says unfinished. Let's try a BTD6 Remix, though, and see how this one is first. This has got 24,500 views. 200 likes is not bad. I mean, hey, I don't know why it's taking so long to load. Maybe it's the internet's just crappy. Uh, I guess I'll have to skip for the you guys. So, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So, all right. Um, what? How do I make it? There we go. Full screen. Okay, I was going to say, I don't really want to have... Okay, so click the play button. I guess we'll do, well, we're gamers, so I guess we'll, whoa, wait, look at this. You got like sandbox and deflation. Impoppable is down here. Money's very says balloons move very fast and you can't lose any lives. Okay. Wow, can you really play against somebody else? Is there really like a, we'll have to check that out, but I guess I'll just do hard mode and see, because I don't want to do in uh, Impoppable, because I feel like, what the, yeah, okay, so I got to be, oh no, oh no, I'm going to lose. Can, I, can you not upgrade? Oh, okay, so I guess you click on the tower to upgrade it. Cool. Wow, I mean, you know what? For a Scratch game, I've, I've made games on Scratch. Like, I, when I was a really young kid, they had us kind of work with Scratch. And I mean, I made a tower defense game myself. It's kind of hard to do, so this is pretty impressive. Like, I mean, granted, this is not great. Don't get me wrong. It's just one simple, straightforward track and everything. But, I mean, still, I mean, you know, it's still pretty cool. I don't mean to just keep on reiterating the same words. Still, 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 still. I don't know why the ZMG Muller is two and a half million euros either. Shoots one, <laughs> shoots out powerful camo seeking bombs that are worth the price. Hover over them to. I don't know how that's worth two and a half million. Like, how do you even save two and a half million? What? Because look at this. I'm already on wave 11. Oh no. I think I'm about to just die. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, granted, they looked kind of weird, but okay. So the balloons of breacher defense is on round 13. Now, I've always heard that. Oh, I gotta hit the uh, green flag up here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right, so I've always heard that, like, the Dartling Gunner is kind of OP, so let's just start with that. Oh, we can't afford to start with that. All right. Well, let's start with the boat then. Oh, look at that. The boat fires a. Uh... Oh, that's kind of funny. So it's not a bomb, but it, like, is the shape of a bomb projectile. Oh, that's pretty OP, though. Look at. Oof. Oh, yeah. This thing is definitely good for the early game. And I guess we can go for. Wait, so. They even have banana farms in the scratch version of Balloon Star Defense. That's kind of like, I gotta say, whoever made this is like definitely a decent scratch programmer because that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like when you first click on the tower, your money already goes down. So I don't know if there's a way to like choose not to buy a tower after you already go for it. I'll check it out with the Dart Monkey here. Let's see. I don't think there's a way to like not get the tower. Yeah, it looks like you have to go for it once you choose to. So that's kind of annoying. Wait, so. Was that upgrade free, or did I just not realize how much it cost? Oh, am I gonna already lose? Oh yeah, wow. So I died to round 12 that time. This is like, this is harder than normal Bloons Tower Defense. Let me just try uh, and see what easy mode is like then, see the difference here. Okay, so it's the same thing, it's just a straight track, but obviously you get more lives and the balloons, I guess, go slower. So the upgrade does cost money, so that's pretty cool. I mean, granted, obviously, it's not quite like Bloons Tower Defense 6, but I think they should advertise it, like Balloon Sour Defense 4 or 3, or 3, yeah. Like, that would definitely be more realistic, you know? I mean, it's cool and all. Oh, wait, so this is still 950, so our tower is the same price on easy and hard, I guess? Maybe, like, the balloons are just slower, it looks like. I mean, this is still definitely cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at that, the tower, um, the Dartling Gunner got stuck on top of... Like, when I went to go place it down, it got stuck on top of its own uh, tower icon in the actual menu selection or whatever you would call it. So, now it's just down here in a terrible spot, but whatever. Oh, now I just got another upgrade on it, so I can't even buy another monkey buccaneer. That's annoying. Okay, well, we're definitely just going to, like, lose again. Yeah, this is the same round we lost to before, round 13, even on easy mode, so... I guess I'll see if this game is also, like, regular balloon tower defense where you can just spam dart monkeys and win. I guess we'll try uh, easy mode again. I don't know. I was failing there. You don't really have any control over the rounds, though. <laughs> so the dart monkey just starts shooting immediately. That's kind of uh, funny. Okay, so yeah, the dart monkeys are pretty good here, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, they're holding off the balloons. They're at least, like... Oof. 
I don't know. This game's tough. I don't really know how to beat it. We'll definitely have to try out some other ones soon. I'm kind of wasting a lot of time on this one, but... Stealthy Tower that can see camo balloons and throw a shuriken rapidly. So they do have camos and stuff, I guess. That's pretty cool. It's hard to really get the chance to farm, I feel like. Here we go. I guess I already have more money than I... Yeah, oh, because they end around money. So you do get extra money at the end of each round, just like normal balloons tower defense. Okay, so we're doing a little bit better to this round than normal. So the Dark Monkey spam is doing bad. Oh, yeah. The Dark Monkey spam is definitely doing better than... uh. It was, I mean, granted, last time when I failed with all the dark monkeys, it was on hard mode, so. That's cool, at least there is a difference between, like, easy and hard mode, for example. They actually coded the game well in that way, so. I guess we'll just see if I can beat at least easy mode on this, and then we'll jump to another game. I don't know why I was able to afford them, and then, oh, I must have accidentally upgraded something, because I was, like, for a second there, I was able to afford <laughs> towers, and then I wasn't able to afford them. I was like, what is going on here? Oh, no. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna die because I don't have enough money and I can't sell anything. Yeah, I guess that's where we just die. Yeah. Oh, wow, one life! The one life clutch. Let's go. Yeah, because that should, I was gonna say, that should pop those and then we'll upgrade that. So that way we'll be ready for camo leads. There we go, come on. We still got it. Get a couple. Oh yeah, let's go. So they get camo, okay. So we'll give that guy his other magic. I don't know what is going on with these upgrades, but hey, this is still pretty cool. Uh, it looks like the balloons even, yeah, they even spawn children. Like, I don't know how exactly they coded the game like this and made it, you know, interact this way, but this is definitely pretty cool, I have to say. I'm guessing this is probably going to be about the best Balloons Tower Defense clone that we're going to see on Scratch the entire time, so... I wouldn't expect it to get better from here, but we'll see. I mean, hey, I don't know why. What the? I don't know why. Okay, I was going to say, I definitely can't afford that. Okay. Well, hey. Okay, here we go. We got, so the lightning upgrade is a thing. Is a thing in the game. That's pretty cool. Here we go. So we're on wave 26 right now. I guess that's not too bad, right? Oh, no. Wow, it's pretty slow, though. The I don't know what that thing is. But we're not doing too badly to it yet, I don't think. I don't know what's going on here. Here we go. Hopefully that'll help, maybe. The sniper. I can't really tell exactly what each upgrade is doing because it's like... Oh, this guy's gigantic for some reason. <laughs> oh, wait. It does show you. I'm an idiot. Yeah, okay. It actually does show you the upgrade on top of it. That's pretty cool. Oh, no. I think we just die here, yeah. Well, hey, yeah, that was a fun game. I mean... Kind of weird. I don't really know like exactly what the skill curve is. If you've ever, if you've ever played this before, let me know. But I'm probably gonna try out a different game here and see uh, how some of the other scratch games are. Apparently, I still have nine lives. I don't know what happened exactly. All right, so I guess the next one we'll try is uh, BTD6 upgraded and see what exactly we got going on with this game here. It's got 21,000 plays. Not too bad. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I guess this game actually has multiplayer. Uh, I was supposed to try it out in the other game. I guess I'll, I'll try to revisit it. This one looks really official though. Like, what is going on here? Look at this. They actually developed the whole loading screen and stuff. This is coming soon when you... Okay. But still, I mean, this is really cool. It's even got like my Scratch username there. So you can see it pulls up your name for Scratch and everything. Wow. Okay, so co-op is not a thing yet. Heroes. Okay, so... It looks like there's only a few heroes. Quincy... Who's Bo? <laughs> Who in the world is Bo? <laughs> uh, can I do open Greenfoot? Okay. Alright, I'll take open, I guess. Wow. Uh, this is Monkey Lane, I thought. Wait, what? Did they change the name? I thought this was Monkey Lane, not Monkey Meadows. I don't know, maybe I'm just an idiot. They still got six maps, though, and I, I guess there's three more maps, maybe? These are all beginner maps, I believe, and then maybe these are harder ones, so... Maybe we'll try, like, Snow Hike? Wow, this is pretty cool. Look at this. I mean, they don't have everything, but you can... Okay, so you can even choose to fight the boss, Lich, on any map in the game. Wow, this is really cool, I have to say. This is definitely better than the other one. No offense to the other creators, but uh, I'll just try uh, hard mode and see. What the... Why am I starting with 25,000? That seems like way too much. Um, what? Is that like a glitch? Well, I know you want to go for... <laughs> wow, this is really, really nice. This is way better. Oh, but I can't place the hero. Do I not have... What is going on here? Bro. Now it's not, like, letting me do anything. Like, what? 
<sighs> you know, I thought this game was gonna be cool, but I'm clicking. There we No, that's not it. That's an ice tower. Yeah, so and I do have the money that it claims, but for some reason it's not letting me place Oban except for right there. What in the world? Okay, so those are the towers, and then how do you see that? That's how you begin the round there. Okay, well, this is pretty annoying. I don't know, this one seemed like it was better. What the? Like, why is the ice tower got a. Oh, there's a tax shooter underneath it, because it, like. It was glitching out, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so you can. Oh, you. Look at that. You can have multiple towers selected on top of each other, see? If you want to have, like, a super tower. You can even do fast forward mode. Wow, look at that. But yeah, look at this. It's like a super tower over here. See that? So you can, like, build multiple towers on top of each other. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look at this, and I don't know why it's giving me so much- <laughs> I don't know why it's giving me so much money to start with. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got the super tower right here. I don't know, I mean, I, this game has a lot of potential, but like, it's just too broken and kind of messed up in other ways to really... Yeah, like, this is not really, like... I don't know. I mean, it's cool and all, but it's too easy, too, because why are you starting with 25,000? Like, what? I guess we'll try a BTD6 clicker next. I don't know what in the world this is. I'm a little nervous. It's probably like a Dragoon game if it's auto-clicking and Bloons Tower Defense 6 combined. Bloons per second, Bloons per click. Oh, no. I'm not... Well, especially, I have my track... What? Doesn't really look like it's tracking my, uh... my clicks like I don't think that I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure this is not one click per second I, I don't know this game is pretty awful okay can I use these no okay it even says finish down here so it's not even like I can like try to like just 10,000 views bro those other games are definitely better than this and he was even saying 615 views like look at this it took months to get wow I guess I should make a blue tower defense game on scratch cuz like bruh People have like no blue tower defense games to play quite clearly. I do just want to be clear, of course, like I'm not trying to insult the creators in any way. I'm just joking around, obviously. But let's see if we have a few more games here. This one looks pretty promising. Let's see. Oh, 32,000 views. Okay. So it's a 3D illusion tower defense of BTD6, but missing a lot of stuff. There's only two monkeys in a few rounds. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll still give it a try. <laughs> Ninja Kiwi's definitely uh, looking a little weird. Oof. Pixelation. Oh. So they got the tutorial, but oh, what the? I'm sorry, I can't play. What is that? Oh, what is? Oh my gosh! No thanks. I'm sorry. I, 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 I can't play. What is this? <laughs> there we go. We got BTD 6s newest update right here. Come on. All right, here we go. The newest update for Bloons Tower Defense 6. Look, BTD 6. See. Most balloons popped is 40,000. Well, I don't think we're beating that record when we don't have any towers to choose from. What? What am I supposed to do? Like, am I... I feel like I'm just the idiot. What? Are they over here? Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I am an idiot. Wow. The dart monkey is uh, looking a little less lean than he used to. But I have to say... The actual animation's really good for the balloons and the dart monkey, and pff, Jesus Christ, its range is like, holy crap, this thing shoots from like a mile away. The dart, or the super monkey's only a thousand dollars, wow, so I guess we're, this is like, <laughs> I guess this game took inspiration from BT3, because seeing a dart monkey and then the spike pole at a separate towers is definitely not what I'm used to, although I don't think you can upgrade the towers, so I guess it makes sense. Sell last tower, I guess, yeah, okay. It'll just sell that. Did I get any money for that? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I didn't, so I just lose now. Okay, I'm done with this. All right, let's try out not BTD6. I mean, he's honest. He's not deceiving me here, so... If it's not BTD6, I can't complain. This project is old. Stop playing it. Well, that's always a good sign. Oh. I'm literally not allowed to play it. Wow. Well, 
Can I like give him a dislike for this? All right, well, I guess uh, <laughs> BTD6. Oh, this one looks promising with the sun god here. Let's see. It's version 1.0, so I don't know. Ooh, Bloom's Tower Defense 5, not 6, but all right. Interesting. Oh, no. Ah, oh, it's like the terrible quality again. How much money do I have? Mm, not much. I have an exactly enough. What the? Yeah, I'm done with this. Nah. Let's see the BTD6 advertisement. What the? Oh, that. It's the original, like. <laughs> All right, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> it was an advertisement after all. I guess we'll check out BTD6 by Oscar the Pro real quick before we call it a day here. What do we got? Okay, we were, uh, oh. I like how all of them create the <laughs> I like how all of them turn the towers into like a drop down menu. What the, why is the laser monkey only 100? The rate of doom's only 150, what? Seems a little cheap. <laughs> what the? Bro. Nah, fam. What in the world is this? Yo, this is like a different style of tower defense game. <laughs> Very different than Balloon's tower defense. Well, I guess I'm just going to lose. Oh, no, round one. Hold on. Let's see. Let's try to make it through round two. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Very brutal. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna survive that. Something tells me, yeah. Uh, that was kind of tough, I can't lie. I don't think I uh, had much chance there. Now, like I said, obviously, don't go and make fun of any of these people. When I say something like, oh, this is horrible, it's, I mean, it's a joke. Like, I'm just messing around. Obviously, I don't expect anybody on Scratch to be able to make a game that's going to be anywhere near, even the early Bloons Tower Defense. I mean, Scratch is very much a less comprehensive program than like Flash, for example. So yeah, I was just kidding around, just having some fun. Don't be rude. Sorry if you, uh, if I came off as rude to anyone. If you're a creator of one of these games, let me know in the comments because I don't want you to think that I was trying to be, uh, I don't know, a mean guy, a big meanie head. But uh, yeah, just don't go and harass people, obviously, because that's pretty lame.